day 397. Uh, so today was a fasting day. Um, didn't really do much uh, other than um, cook some dog food <laughs> um, and go to work. So that, you know, is kind of normal because it's a fasting day, um, especially in the beginning of the week. Um, and the one thing I want to talk about is actually my health results. So I went to the doctor two or so weeks ago, um, and uh, it took a while to get my blood drawn. Um, had to get poked a couple times and go in a couple times. Um, finally got it drawn on a Tuesday after I'd been fasting for about 48 hours. Um, so it was interesting to see what my blood work looked like at that time, right? Um, based on what is normal range, right? Um, there was one that was like borderline, um, I can't even remember what it is. Um, but it, it essentially was something to do with like a liver damage, um, statistic and if it's lower then you're likely to have more problems but I um like I said it was borderline it wasn't there wasn't any issues with it um and same thing with all the other things that are also liver and kidney and yada yada were all well within normal um so it didn't really stick out um usually uh, when you have one of those, right, it's, it has to be way below normal and it has to be, um, several of them that give them cues that there's actually something wrong. Um, so I'm perfectly fine in that sense that my, um, kidneys, my liver, um, my white blood cell count, my red blood cell count, they're all normal. Um, the next thing that I'm bringing up is cholesterol. Um, if you're overweight, the likelihood is your cholesterol is also uh, high. And so regardless of what you're going to get back, um, you're going to have a high cholesterol number. Um, losing weight should help with that, right? Um, but also focusing on different foods. So some of the stuff that I've been doing in order to remain keto... Uh, and eat less carbohydrates actually hurts me helping lower my cholesterol, um, like getting more fiber in my body, eating more nuts, eating um, more beans and things like that. Um, you know, the, the high fiber fruits like apples, um, eating those types of things need to be on my list. And they're not necessarily because they're high in sugar um, or high in carbs, right? So like, you know, when I don't normally get beans and rice. Um, I don't normally get rice and I don't normally get beans. I eat everything else. Um, when I'm at a Mexican restaurant, right? And so I need to add those back in, um, to get the good, uh, cholesterol. Um, and same thing with like dairy. Uh, I do a lot of dairy. Um, and so that's one thing that I need to cut back on um, because that is promoting my high cholesterol. So it's nothing that's like crazy high or something to like, oh my God, I need to change my life right now. Um, but it's because just by losing the weight, that helps with my cholesterol. Um, but it's something to, to keep track of essentially and to, you know, try to add in one or two things like eating more nuts or in, um, eating more, um, good carbs. Um, and so that'll just be something that I have to do while I'm planning out my food for the, the week. Um, otherwise it's, you know, it was all fairly standard, right? My BMI is higher than, um, 30. So I'm technically still, uh, obese. And so I'm, I'm working on that. Um, and just, you know, little things like that, that, you know, that need to get changed. And by doing this process, they should. So we'll see how it all goes.